Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum. Okay, so you you like Assalamualaikum, right? So Assalamualaikum. My name is Vivan. I'm from Xiamen University, Malaysia. So maybe you look at my picture, you will wonder, am I a Muslim or Chinese or from China? So I'm a Malaysia Chinese. Okay. So in Malaysia, we have three races, which is Chinese, Malay, which is a Muslim, and the Hindu. So we are all live together in Malaysia. So Xiamen University. Malaysia actually is a branch campus from China. In China, Xiamen University is a top ten university. Can you hear my voice? Can you hear my voice? Uh, near, uh, very low voice. Okay. I try to speak louder. Okay. Xiamen University, Malaysia is a branch campus from China. So in China, it is a government university. It's a top ten ranking, and all the program conducted in Chinese. So there's a reason why we have a branch campus in Malaysia and for all the programs are conducted in English. So for students who are coming from those high school with English background, then you no need to get any IELTS for us. So no need to sit for the IELTS test. So University Xiamen is located in Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur. So it's very near to the airport, which is about 10 to 15 minutes away from the Kuala Lumpur International Airport. And it's a well-known university with the most beautiful campus in Malaysia right now, and also the biggest private university in Malaysia. So I will show you the video how we look like. So are you ready for that? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Listen what I'm saying because today I bring you a special gift. It's only for our special uh, for the student who can answer my question later. It's all the way fly from Malaysia, okay? And I only have five with me. So if you want to get the edition limited edition pen from Xiamen, so you need to answer my question later. I will ask you, okay? I will pick you, and then you need to answer my question. If you can answer it correctly, you will get that. Is it okay? So the question will come from the video, so you need to pay attention, okay? When you show the night view, we we'll turn on the lights. So this is an iconic place for Malaysia, the Kuala Lumpur Tree Tower. So this is our campus. So this is the library. It's also the biggest private university library in Malaysia. In total, we have nine floors for this building, and six floors will be uh, used as a library. Another three floors will be the office and meeting room purpose. So this is our campus. 150 acres with total investment 1.3 billion ringgit for this campus. So if you ask me where is the airport, this will be the location. Can you see my mouse? The point. Okay, here this area is uh, Kuala Lumpur International Airport. This area. So this is our campus. The whole place will be our campus. So this five building is our lecture hall. It's focused on your study, like your science lab, computer labs, they were all located at here. So this area is our hotel. That means if next time your parents, your friends, your relative want to visit you, they can stay in our hotel. Okay. So this building and this area, we call this building as a multi-purpose multi center. So in this center, we including sport complex, which is fit about 46 clubs and societies inside. So students will not feel boring after the class. Okay. So other than that, we have a supermarket in the center. And then we also have two clinics in the center. And also one prayer room in the center. So a very important thing, we have our cafeteria number one in this center as well. So it's all the halal Muslim food for the students who are Muslim. So here, this building, the round one, 
is our cafeteria number two. So we also have Hala food at here and a 24 hours mini market inside. So that's been at the midnight, you study and if you're hungry, you can get your bread, your ice cream, your coffee, your chips from here. It's 24 hours. So this area, because this video is uh, our, I think we showed it at 2017, so that time is not ready at the building. But now this area, this empty land, already have more accommodation building and also cafeteria number three. That means when you are walk around in the campus, anytime you feel hungry, you can get food. It's surrounded by all the food. So doesn't feel any like, oh, uh, need to go walk so far to get anything. So at here, you can easily get your halal food, your naan, your prata, your chicken tikka, your tandoori, your pizza, okay, you can get everything here, your mutton curry. So this is what I eat in Malaysia. Because Malaysia is a Muslim country, okay, and also an educational hub for the Asia countries. So a lot of students, they will come here to study because the first thing, affordable living cost is quite cheap to say in Malaysia one month for your food expenses 600 ringgit enough you can spend for your food and easily get your halal food because it's a Muslim country you can get your mutton curry your chicken tisa masala chicken pizza everything is here I also eat roti prata as my breakfast in Malaysia okay so other than that Malaysia also very stable in terms of the economics and also the natural disaster we don't have any earthquake or the wind storm in, in here and then we do have any war in Malaysia and Malaysia the weather also similar like here it's about 33, 34 degrees Celsius in the afternoon and then at night it's about 26, 27 okay, sometimes it may rain but it's similar like here so when you travel to Malaysia to study you will feel like it's just your second home you don't have a very big changes okay for the food or for the for the uh, weather okay, or for the lifestyle so you can easily get your friends over there so this surrounding area is our accommodation twin sharing room fully furnished with the aircon toilet water heater wi-fi so if you took a larger room which is 390 ringgit so you just 50 ringgit different depends on your budget, which one you want to spend for. For me, i rather take the standard room, 340 ringgit, then I can save the 50 ringgit to buy more food. So maybe, are you agree with me for that? Yeah. So, study in uh, Xiamen. Okay. Why want to choose Xiamen? So what's the special for Xiamen University compared with other university in Malaysia? Xiamen currently is the biggest, the most beautiful, Okay. And also 80% of the lecturer, they are PhD, doctorate holder. All so, are PhD holder, doctorate, all the lecturers. And then we have foundation. And, now, and we have three Bangladeshis there as well. Uh, uh, they, they are also yeah. the lecturers, I'm not here, right? Yeah. Sorry for the interruption, yeah. but okay. there's an age problem, 49 years. Huh? Go ahead. Okay, so that's mean if we get, we provide you a quality study when you come to Xiamen University. And also, Xiamen University in Malaysia is a non-profit organization. So, if you study here, we only charge you for the tuition fees and the accommodation fees. All the academic facilities like your labs, science lab, computer labs, all the non-academic facilities like your gym room, swimming pool, basketball court, tennis court, they are all free to free use. Okay, all it's free, free of charge. You don't need to pay any single cent for use the facilities. Other than that, our off day is Saturday and Sunday, different with you. You are Friday and Saturday off, right? But Malaysia is Saturday and Sunday is an off day. So students may take our shuttle bus, free shuttle bus, to go for the nearer shopping mall or the train station, then you can go to the KL city. It's about 25 minutes away from our campus and also the shopping mall is about 50 minutes away from the campus. So what you can get from the mall? All your groceries, your clothes, you can go for a movie, you can go for ice skating, theme park, they are all in the mall. It's quite one of the biggest mall in KL as well, which is nearby our campus. It's our sports center. I have the opportunity to visit here. It takes one hour by walking to visit the entire uh, campus. See, and the 
night view will show it will switch off the light. You see the night view is more. So this is our campus in China. It's four times bigger than Malaysia campus. Total have ten cafeterias in the campus in China. But all the but all the programs are conducted in Chinese. That's why student for foreign student they will come to Malaysia for study. So for China campus start from 1921, where the Malaysian campus is start from 2016 February. So on the pioneer staff day, my number is number five for the admin number. So that means I know everything about the university. So this is our president. Uh, this is the president. So this is a soft opening ceremony during the February 2016. So in Malaysia campus currently we have about 4,700 students, including the foreign and the local Malaysian students. About 70% is local Malaysian student, and 30% will be the foreign student come from 24 countries, which we have student from China, Bangladesh, Pakistan, Egypt, Japan, Korea, Taiwan, and so on. Okay, about 24 countries. So student study hour will be nine in nine o'clock in the morning. And they will finish their class about 6 p.m. So it's from Monday to Friday only. So Saturday, Sunday, students usually will go for maybe shopping mall to relax themselves, to watch a movie with their friends, or they will go for the clubs and society activities during the weekends. We have 46 clubs and society for you to choose. So these our labs. They are all free for students to use. You need to pay for the resource fees. Our gym room. We have two gym room in the school. A football field. Anyone of you like football? Yes. Wow. Then we can have a football team represent Bangladesh country. Wow. This is cheerleading. Swimming pool. Swimming. Anyone of you know how to swim? Wow. Quite a lot. So this is accommodation. 